All right, so what do we have here? This is a 2003 Ford Expedition. Uh, 4.6 liter automatic, all wheel drive slash four wheel drive, uh, about 126,000 miles on it. And I just picked it up at Copart. It is a clean title car, it was donated. And uh, I've been looking for something to replace the old 99 uh, well, Honda Passport clone that uh, I've been maintaining for the last several years for my daughter as it's slowly disintegrating because it's got over 200,000 on it. And uh, she's got a couple of kids she's about to adopt. So figured we needed something that was a little bit better and something that I understood a little bit better because that poor thing has, has had it. Um, and this thing is effectively, the, I mean, the last year of the very, very similar units to my 97 F-150 that I've been making my videos about for the last couple of years. Um, it's, it's, this looks like a good truck. It's got any, it's got issues. Um, the air conditioner doesn't work and the brakes are junk. <laughs> I mean, they are really junk. Um, it's biggest issue is it's got some rust. Um, this truck, according to my title search, spent the vast majority of its life up in Illinois. And I knew it was going to be a little crusty um, when, when I got it home. Uh, we looked at it and it was, you could tell, it, it, it's, it's seen some, you know, it's got some, got some crud. The front end's not too bad. You know, the body mounts are all pretty good. It gets a little bit worse when you get behind, behind the axle. Up underneath here. You know, this is some pretty, pretty flaky shit right now, but, but it's not through. So I'm thinking that the majority of this stuff I can clean off and take care of it where it's not going to be too bad um, long term. And I don't need to get, you know, this isn't going to be abused. I think it seems to have air suspension and some other weird things going on that I don't really understand, but we'll figure that out as we go. Um, five brand new tires on it. Um, yeah, independent suspension in the back. I guess that was standard on these at this time. But, uh, I mean, she starts perfect. She sounds good. Doesn't make any noise. Uh, like I said, its biggest thing is she's a little crusty. She's a little crusty. But, uh, we're going to get her off the trailer and park her for a little bit while I make my plan of attack. Let's see what I need to do on this bad boy to do my best to keep it as good as possible for as long as possible. Like I said, I think it's a little crusty in the back, but I don't think it's anything that's going to take away from what I need to do with it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, look at this. These, these things are fantastic. And there's five brand new ones. And the front end looks fairly top notch although brake lines are junk as i expected there's not too much that's terrible under here <laughs> doesn't appear to be any oil leaks kind of wish there had been because might have saved some of the rust but uh yeah four wheel drive and uh she runs good she drove right up here and other than the brakes she's uh she's pretty darn solid so this will be a good little project give me something to do and give uh my daughter and the kids something a little bit uh a little bit more reliable hopefully in the long term to get them around but uh so that's going to be some upcoming stuff related to my youtube channel and uh I'll take you through the whole process i'm pretty happy with it, it wasn't too expensive for what I was, I mean, I got it for exactly what I, you know, my max bid was, so what I had estimated, so I was pretty pleased with that, but, uh, so that's it. This is the start of a new project, the 2003 Expedition.
it's even possible. But that's the widest damn thing I have ever put on this trailer. Which I really don't understand because it, I put that white F-150 on this thing and it didn't even come close to doing this. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, something else to fix.